I got a speeding ticket on June 13th, I believe was the day. A couple months ago, almost two months ago to the day. It didn't get out that I got this ticket. In Virginia, if you get a ticket over 20 miles per hour over the speed limit, they charge it as reckless driving so that it's not actually the normal speeding ticket like you would think. They charge it as a misdemeanor crime, actually. And basically, it's a racket for the trial lawyers here in the state um, to get more work. Um, Now, a lot of times you can show up to these on your own and you can get them knocked down. But um, (laughs) most people see that there's a crime on the record or whatever. They end up hiring a lawyer. I don't know about most, but those who can do. And so it's kind of a, you know, just a moneymaker for the lawyers here in the state. Anyway, I've had an... um, You know, I've had a couple of uh, issues out there on the road, a couple of speeding tickets, a couple of uh, wrecks, et cetera, and um, had had a reckless driving knocked down, actually, a couple of years. (laughs) They gave me reckless driving for hitting a sign on the side of the road and then just leaving the scene, which turns out that's a form of reckless driving (laughs) in Virginia. Uh, Anyway, it got knocked down to improper driving, and so... I got this speeding ticket. It was 65 and a 30 coming down Sims here in Richmond, going back to my house. That is much too fast, admittedly, um, although it shouldn't be 30 going down that road. It should be like 35 or 40, but whatever. Um, The cop got me. Of course, he was fairly uh, brusque because of the (laughs) – because of the speed. Uh, He gave me a – ticket and it told me to show up on August the 16th but I didn't actually show up today I had my attorney Samantha Upton who is the best lawyer in town I have to say uh, go in my stead and one of the things she had told me a few weeks ago uh, in the lead up to this because like I said you know I've had a few a few things on my driving record whatever and so she said do some community service and the A log stalker faggots, I guess they they either willfully misunderstood or they just don't know how courts work exactly. But I actually volunteered at this place called Feedmore, which is the food bank here in Richmond. And great place. If you ever have any community service, go there. They actually had me doing community service and they're very generous with the credited hours. Uh and they're very generous with you're really not doing any back breaking work at all. You sort up, sort some bakery items, do a little sweeping. Usually would be out in three hours and get credited for like six or seven. Uh, and one of those hours in the morning, you were on lunch break. So I was done by 12 almost every single day and done by 1230 every single day. And I think I went five days. And so uh, I had 40 hours of community service. Uh, credited and did do, uh, you know, some community service. But like I said, if, hopefully this doesn't happen to any of you guys. Uh, but if you need to do community service in Richmond, I would highly recommend uh, the Feed More Food Bank over there by SP, SCP, whatever, the Humane Society, SPCA, whatever the fuck it is. Um, I didn't say where I was doing my community service until now because I wanted to wait until – it was over because I knew some faggots. I mean, technically, they could just come up there and volunteer. <laughs> uh, so no telling what the stalkers might try to do or call and try to fuck us some shit up. Who knows? Uh, but I didn't tell anybody where I was doing my community service at, uh, but that's where it was. And I uh, finished up with that last week, and then I did a tw- 12-hour driving class, which, again, I disregard. Mm. This is La Roma de Cuba. Uh, the Passion. Very good. But I uh, finished that up last week. And the week before, I went to driving school, which I've been to before. Uh, and she said, again, since since I already went to that a couple years ago for that sign bullshit, um, she said you need to take the 12-hour course. So I ended up, again, it was like 6 uh, they were generous with the with the credit. I had to come back the next day for a minute or whatever, but no big deal. Got the twelve hour course, uh, got all that stuff taken care of, taken care of. Dropped it off, 
to my attorney last who again Samantha Upton round of applause that is the queen of Richmond attorneys I have to say anyway so she went to court today I didn't actually go to court um I was working on my move and thought I would be moved by today but I might actually just move at a different time of the month because I'm I'm worried that if I leave later because I'm Waiting on May's car to get fixed, and I'm also waiting on this document that I thought I would have already in Richmond, and I don't have either one of those things, so I might just wait until the 28th, the day after the Worski fight, to move, because I don't want to miss that, uh, and it's going to be a few days worth of moving, uh, so I may just hold, because I already have this place rented, like I said many times and the other place for this month. So I may just wait until that day because then it'll be that, maybe that Sunday through Thursday or something like that and just let yesterday be my weekend uh, day and just do the rest of the schedule for the week. That's what I'm considering uh, for right now. Well, it wasn't a vacation, nigga. <laughs> Somebody said vacation canceled. That's not a vacation. I was never going on vacation. <laughs> I was packing my shit the last day and a bunch of other stuff and thought I would already be on the road, but no, it wasn't a vacation. Um, but uh, the sabbatical, maybe you could call it. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. The time off, but it's not really time off because you're moving. Whatever. Time away from the airwaves. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it on the 28th instead. Um, so we'll see, but that's the working plan for now because I just don't have the stuff I thought I would have already. Um, and so I think I'm just going to wait rather than rush it, uh, and also just keep doing the shows until then, but we'll see. Anyway, my lawyer went to court today armed with the 40 hours of community, start 40 hours, quote unquote, of community service and, uh, my driving school stuff. And I was worried because the last reckless driving that I'd had got knocked down to improper driving, which is still like a fucking fucked up ticket. Alan Dershowitz sent $3. The legal hurdles you had to jump through is the reason I never had sex with anyone outside my family. Dershowitz, prime legal scholar. I don't I have to disavow that, but... <laughs> Anyway, she went in there armed with the community service, armed with the driving school. I thought I might have to eat another improper driving, honestly, because I was going almost double the speed limit. So, actually, I was going double the speed limit, now that I think about it, because it was 65 and 30. <laughs> I was going over double the speed limit. That's not the best look, obviously, when you go into court. Or in my case, send your lawyer into court. Um, but I put in the work. It wasn't really much work, to be honest. They thought I was picking up trash on the side of the road. Nigga, I was sitting in the food bank chilling, just sorting out food for two hours max, not even per day, <laughs> for five days. <laughs> yeah, there was no back-breaking work whatsoever. Um, so she went in there with that. I thought I might have to eat an improper driving again. But actually, she got it knocked down to a 19 mile per hour over speeding ticket. So I did. I do have a speeding ticket. So that's like a point or two or something like that uh, on my driving. So that's not going to help the old insurance. But she got it knocked down completely. Vanquished the reckless driving charge. It was knocked down to a regular speeding ticket. Like I said, something like that was going to happen the entire time. I put out tweets, screen cap it. I came on this show, screen cap it. Medicare was getting all excited. All these faggots were getting all excited, thinking I was going to go to jail over a fucking speeding ticket. They literally, people were like, then they had it in their head they were going to take my license away as well, which was never even on the table either. Sydney Powell sent $3. Ralph, you should have refused to do the community service. I have evidence that Cubs and China hacked the speed cam. I will release the Kraken. Release it! But I, and I read all this stuff re leading up to the, to the day today. And just the most ridiculous fucking phony shit. People are just outright dumb. I don't know what to say. But if you think they're locking you up in Richmond, Virginia... Really anywhere, unless I was going 100 miles an hour. 
over a speeding ticket, they're not doing that. Period. They're not even suspending my license. You faggots are dumb as shit. Every single one of you. Oh, old pants is going to be driving them around and Ralph's going to do this and that. Ralph ain't doing shit but driving clean like he already was. A little speeding ticket ain't shit. I see him trying to cope on fact. For, oh, I've never had to. I've never had to pay a speed. Nigga, you were just talking about me going to jail three hours ago. And then it's a literal fucking speeding ticket. All you fucking losers, moral fagging over speeding, over driving. All of you should pull out a gun from your drawer and blow your brains out right now. Every single one of you faggots are embarrassing from Medicare on down. You are pathetic. The fact that this was even a talking point is the most ridiculous thing ever. The world's Ghani man sent $5. It's funny how King Faggot who has a DUI has anything to say about yeah, this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This guy, yeah, exactly. He's big on... It wasn't that long ago, I don't think. What, 2015 or some shit? 26... I mean, a little bit ago, but it wasn't like he was 20 or some shit, like they tried to say. Somebody told me one day, oh, he was 20 years old. No, he was like 35 or some shit. Yeah, Ralph took a plea deal to get out of a speeding ticket. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for, for that one to come out since he took a plea deal to get out of his DUI. Nigga, everybody takes plea deals. Anyway, whatever. So that's what happened today, and I got the news late. I mean, I don't know if court was running late or what was going on, but I actually expected to hear about it way earlier uh, and didn't hear until about 345. And I still hadn't decided fully uh, on the schedule, but uh, I went ahead and because um, I'm not going to have her car ready and I'm not going to have that document for a couple days anyway. So I think I'm just going to leave on the 28th after the Worski fight. That's the working, that's the working plan so far. So again, round of applause to my amazing attorney, Miss Samantha Upton. If you ever have any problems in Richmond, really any, she represents all kinds of shit, uh, but specifically traffic stuff that is like her bread and butter as well. Round of applause for Miss Upton. One of the best lives I've ever had, actually. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.